Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to search for text on a web page. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 2,000 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There, you could read more about it. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now, let's say you're searching the web for some information and you find the perfect web page. It seems to have what you want, but the page is huge and you need to quickly find the information you want in all that text. Well, in addition to searching for pages on the web, you could also use a browser like Safari to search for text on the web page. So for instance, here I am on a Wikipedia web page. And let's say instead of having to read all of this, I want to quickly be able to find the information I want. So to find a search feature, it may be confusing as to which item to go to. You may think it's under view, for instance, but actually it's under edit. Under edit, you'll find find. And here, the first item is to do a search with your default search engine. But under that, there are various options to help you find text on the page. We're going to use the first one here, find. And all this does is bring up an extra toolbar at the top. You'll see all of the parts of that toolbar at the right. The main part is the search field here. So just type what you want to search for. So it's going to look for this text on the page and you can switch between contains and begins with. Contains will allow this text to be inside of a word whereas begins with will make sure the word starts with this. You can type multiple words but it's going to look for those appearing exactly as they are here. You'll see the word highlighted on the page so you can quickly spot it. And it'll also show you the number of matches here. So in this case, it's the first out of 29 matches. I've got these arrow buttons here and I can easily go to the next match and continue. And notice that it shows me all of the instances of that word. So I can see several of them here. The one in yellow is the current one. So the fourth match is this one here. But you can see there's the fifth and sixth one. And I can use these buttons to get to it. I can go back as well. You always jump to the part of the page that contains that match. If you want to clear the search, you can click this X button here. And if you want to dismiss this special toolbar, you can click the Done button here and it will go away. Now the keyboard shortcuts for all of this, if you go to Edit and Find, you'll see that Command F is how you bring up that toolbar. And once you brought it up, you don't have to click on the field to type. You can just start typing. And then you could use Command G for Find Next and Shift Command G or find previous instead of clicking those buttons. You could also, instead of the done button, use shift command F to dismiss the toolbar. And that will still allow you to go to next and previous. So for instance, if I do command F and then I type my search term, I could use command G to jump to each match and I can use command shift F to dismiss the toolbar there. But notice the selection is still there and if I use command G, it's going to continue to jump to each match. I just won't know the number of matches and it's not going to show me the other matches on the page, only the current one. You also have the keyboard shortcut E for use selection for find, but you need to bring up find first. So I'll bring this up with command F and then I'll select some text like this and use command E and you can see how it places it in there and jumps to the first match. Now while this seems straightforward enough, on Safari for Mac, you will, of course won't find a menu bar or keyboard shortcuts like that when you're using the iPhone or the iPad. But you could still do it, it's just in a completely different location. So here I am at a similar Wikipedia page. If I want to search for text on the page, I go to the address field. Whether you've got it set to be at the top or the bottom, it works the same. I'm going to click there and delete what's there. Now it appears as if I've left the page completely because it's showing me favorites and other items here. But I haven't left the page yet. So now I can type a search term like that. And of course I'm going to get Google suggestions and all sorts of other things here to go to another page. But if I scroll down, I'll find at the bottom on this page and it'll show me here that there are three matches. And if I click on find and then the keyword there, it will jump to the first one and notice I get a toolbar that's kind of like the one on the Mac. I see it's one out of three there. I've got the little X button to clear it and I've got arrows to jump to each one of these. I've even got this little button to the left here but it works differently. It'll allow me to select whole words as opposed to finding this text is only part of a word and match the case perfectly. I've also got this done button here to clear it out. That's how you do it on the iPhone. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. 
If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.